Welcome. My name is Ed. Uh, I am the antiquarian. Behind me, you see the Basilica of Maxentius, or Constantine, if you prefer. It's a symbol of the Roman genius. Now, where the Greeks had uh, an insatiable intellectual curiosity about nature, the unknown, and the human condition, the Romans were a much more practical, down-to-earth people. Their genius really was in their skills as engineers and builders. And the material they used to build this basilica was a unique blend Roman concrete. That's the subject of today's presentation. Here's a piece of broken Roman concrete, uh, still intact after 2,000 years. Now, Roman concrete was composed of, first of all, of cement, which is a mixture of clay and limestone and water, uh, add sand and aggregate, you can see the pieces of rock that were used and a brick, uh, all part of giving it bulk and substance and a magic ingredient, Boltolana. Comes from the Bay of Naples, is mined here in the area of the town of Potswali. Here is Naples ancient Herculaneum, ancient Pompeii, and Vesuvius, the source of the magic ingredient. This is Pozzolana. Now, I won't go into the chemistry, but it seems that when Pozzolana is added to the other ingredients to make a rather unique mixture of concrete, it gives the concrete a certain self-healing power so that if the concrete develops a, a split, it will self-heal. It will close up on its own. Uh, and that way it gains uh, longevity and of course, strength, continued strength. It, enabled the Romans to build structures that are still standing 2,000 years later. <clears throat> Another quality of Roman concrete is that it would set up in water. It's hard to see, but uh, a lot of this is part of the harbor facilities that were built at Caesarea Maritima uh, two millennia ago. And they are still there, even though the workings of the tides and uh, the corrosive power of seawater uh, has had very little effect. Um, it is mostly human neglect that has destroyed the harbor facilities and the whole city of Caesarea. You can see some of the reconstruction here. These columns, which are solid concrete themselves, have been uh, erected again for uh, purposes of giving you a feeling for this town essentially built of concrete at least the monumental structures, the ones they were concerned with and, and wanted to last. The first really massive building that has survived built of concrete, or at least it's so far been discovered, is that of Nero's Domus Aria. 
uh, his house of gold. And this is the main throne room or reception hall. It is a dome, whoops. It is a dome, as you can see here, uh, and the layers of concrete that were used to construct the dome, uh, the thick walls and concrete that support the dome. And this has all been excavated in the last oh, 30 years uh, and only recently made available to uh, the public. Another example is the famed Pantheon, which uh, the original construction uh, by Marcus Agrippa, uh, an associate of Caesar Augustus, was this, the normal form of post and lintel construction, and the what well, it was a temple to all of the gods in the Greek style. Later, that the most of the temple was torn down, the facade was kept and a great domed round building with a dome was added to it. And you can get a good feeling for what that looks like here in this painting by Panini. Uh, it is the only way you can possibly see the whole inside of the Pantheon. This photograph shows you light coming in the oculus here the structure of the roof, the dome itself, and a close-up, and, and the clever way in which they lightened the load uh, with this, this very clever design of the roof. The Colosseum, many of you have visited Rome and seen the Colosseum, and what you're looking at is Tons and tons and tons of good Roman concrete that has certainly withstood the test of time. Again, it has been humans uh, who have ransacked the Colosseum and other constructions for bits and pieces of, of marble and colored stone to use in newer constructions, but not the concrete. The, the structure of the mass uh, amphitheater remains. The same is true of Trajan's Market, which is the first uh, shopping center, if you will. The lower level was all shops where merchants could display their goods. You can see how each merchant would have his own shop and then there was an open walkway here. Uh, the arch inside made it possible. You can see the arches here. Oh, this whole building is made of concrete faced with brick and apparently in antiquity with other colored stone. But again, the bones of the building are good solid Roman concrete. The same is true of the many bathhouses uh, that Rome had. Estimates are of hundreds of bathhouses, even by the time this monstrous bathhouse was built by Caracalla. Uh, the bathhouses, the most elaborate by, uh, by Diocletian and Caracalla, uh, not only had the baths themselves, they would have three different pools of water at different temperatures. They had libraries, they had art galleries, uh, probably shops, uh, exercise rooms, uh, all manner of conveniences for the citizens of Rome who spent their afternoons uh, relaxing and socializing in the baths of Rome. The Pont de Garde, only one of a dozen 
aqueducts that have survived that span the spaces between the springs in the hills and the cities that consume the water from those springs, uh, including this one particular aqueduct. Uh, you can see the, the arch uh, construction of what would have been a bridge, but then was raised up. Look, look at the span here. Uh, and there is some stone uh, facing on the concrete that is here. And you can see that all the way up here. But the sluice way uh, carried the water on to whichever city was the beneficiary of this particular aqueduct. And again, the footings uh, could be in water. At flood time, the water would come all the way up here. You can kind of see the markings, uh, no matter. Uh, the corrosive effect of water and time had very little effect on good, solid Roman concrete. Not so much modern American concrete. You can see here in Champlain Towers, Surfside, Florida, that collapsed in June of 2021. The footings that went down into the sand were a coarse board concrete and the workings of the sand and the seawater uh, simply ate away at the concrete until the whole structure collapsed uh, because it s simply couldn't with withstand uh, the uh, corrosive power of nature. Had it been built of good, solid Roman concrete with post in it, would it still be there? Likely, yes. Well, something to think about. Thanks for watching today. Uh, please come back uh, at your convenience and see other videos uh, that contribute to your lifelong learning experience.